This is the hard part. You have your earbuds in. What? You have your earbuds in. Yeah, this part's really hard. Should we go feed? Let's go. You guys hungry? Where's Noel? There she is. Hey Noel, how you feeling today, Mama? See that big belly, guys? She is gonna have some babies, and it is a full moon on Wednesday. And so we just want to be extra careful. I know that sounds silly, but we've actually found that to be the case. The animals that are close tend to uh, get really close or go on full moon. So um, we want to keep an eye on her, keep an eye on her bag and swelling and all that good stuff. So we've ended up with six pigs. The six that are left are all really strong and doing well. The ones that we lost were runts. And um, you know, it's just been such a cold winter that they just couldn't fare in it. But these six are doing awesome and we're happy to have them. Oh, hey, Stu. Hey. Oh, hey, honey. Hey. Oh, look what you're doing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What a good. <laughs> D-Day. D-Day. Yeah. <laughs> Are you excited to be finally transforming this into something better? Yeah. I'm excited that I'm about 99% unfinished. <laughs> I'd say it's less than that, actually. Yeah. It's, yeah. Well, get going. Well, I've already done a lot. <laughs> You ready for a coffee summer. break? <laughs> yeah. All right, so here's our nasty fireplace that's in the basement, and all this nasty rock is going to come off. Um, this is going to be my home office space. This is going to be an additional bathroom someday. It's going to make a cool puppet. Cool. But it's a surprise. Hey, what are you doing up there? I'm um, making puppets, but I need your help. Go to these blank, blank, blank paper. Some blank white paper? Yeah. There's some down there on the floor. What do you think about this, Ellen? Good. It's good? We're going to have a new wall. A new a wall? A new wall, that's right. Hey. Huh. Those noises should be reserved for me. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Stop it. I say we get a pizza and some beer and work on this project all night. I would feel so loved. I would feel very loved too. <laughs> Good. Then we're in agreement. Yes. So this is what is left after taking down all that rock, which I love. We were gonna retexture this, but now I'm thinking we keep the crumbling stucco because I love the way that that looks. But we need a mantle. We have to build a mantle. Oh, this looks like a war zone. Hey, buddy. Holy. 
Hey, Juju. What do you think? You got a stud finder? Okay. Well. You kind of get to decide what's next because I'm apparently totally incapable of doing some of this. See this? Look at this, you guys. You can't buy texture like this. I just need to cut the chicken wire down a bit and I'm totally leaving the chunks. I knew we were getting close to the full moon, and sure enough, when I came out, we had twin lambs on the ground. So let me introduce you. Great. We have two ewe lambs. That means they're girls. Yeah, see, she's kind of not 100% sure about this one. That's okay, we can work through that. Sometimes it takes them a little bit. And actually, her lambs from last year are still around her um, until we butcher later this week. Be nice, Noelle. You're a good mama. But she is letting her nurse. Um, if she continues to be a little bit of a poop about it, then we'll just tie her up so she doesn't have a choice. Because these little lambs, they need food. Hi, sweet thing. So let me show you how you can see if it's a girl. It's always good to be able to check. That is a girl. You see that little kind of pointy lip? That's how you can tell if it's a boy. If it's a boy, there will just be one poop hole, basically. So it's really easy to tell. This is exciting for us that we got two ewe lambs out of Noelle because she is the only ewe that we have that's not related to our ram. And so that means that we can keep her girls as replacement ewes and not have to worry about any sort of incest issue. I know well. I think we're just gonna have to keep a close eye on her because she is kind of being a turd to this big one here. It's weird because she's calling to her. She's smelling her, which is good, but she's just not quite letting her nurse like she should. So that means hourly trips to the barn. Apple, but next time we easy on the dog spit sauce. That doesn't make any sense. And he's so funny. <laughs> yeah, there was dog spit sauce because he brought it to him in his mouth. What you working on there, Georgia? What? What are you working on there? A puzzle. So what did we name the new lambs? I named one Caterpillar and the other. And Mama named the other. Do you remember? Jewels. Jewels. Caterpillar and Jewels. <laughs> Do you think we've run out of names? <laughs> too many animals. No, there's never too many animals in your farm. Can you say that louder? There's never too many animals if you're a farmer. What about when you have to feed them all and water them all? Still, there's still not enough. You are your mother's daughter. <laughs> What's that mean there, Sparky? You know what it means. Should we get some cats? Yeah, we should get some cats. What's that? Hey. What? Hey. Eggs. Mm -hmm. Should we get them? 
Sometimes you just gotta watch and observe and see what you see. Slow down a bit. What's that? Is it not gonna turn on? All right, guess we do the truck then. There they go.